Please be seated. Le Président, on veut vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And again, the floor is given to Et the defense team for Q. Sumpon to continue putting further questions to this witness. De ce témoin. You may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. And again, good afternoon, Mr. Pnu Yao. Allow me to report further questions to you before we broke. I asked you about the uh, work assignment that you gave to the children, that is one child to tend one cow. And after they returned, they had to gather a basket full of cow dung and press it in a pit. Besides uh, this work, that is uh, one child to tend one cow and to gather a basket full of a cow dung, what else did you assign uh, to the children? And so, no, uh, that was all. So they mainly uh, worked uh, with uh, tending the cow, gathering cow dung, and attend, uh, attending the uh, class. Question. Did they involve in this kind of work uh, until the arrival of the Vietnamese troops? Et est-ce que Answer, yes, cette situation that is correct. a duré jusqu'à l'arrivée des troupes vietnamiennes? Réponse: Oui, c'est exact. Question regarding the uh, sleeping uh, quarter. Question, Where did uh, they sleep under your uh, care? Des dortoirs. Uh, où dormaient-ils? They lived in a Donc, long building. Where I uh, was there, they did not actually return to their parents' houses. They only went to visit their parents on the 10th or the 20th of each month. Que le 10 ou le 20 de chaque mois. May I put further question to you, uh, civil, uh, Mr. Witness? Answer, yes. Question, puis-je encore question. vous poser des questions? In terms of uh, oui. hygiene, or the use of uh, the bathroom or, or toilet, des toilettes, what was the de arrangement uh, in your school? Et autres. Quelles étaient les dispositions prises en termes d'hygiène dans votre école? Answer. There was no bathroom nor a toilet in the bathroom Il avait pas in, de in the school. In fact, the children relieved themselves while they went out uh, to the, the field or to the forest to attend the cows. Question. Question. While you were looking after the children, Tandis que vous vous occupiez was there des enfants, any case that uh, one of them uh, get, uh, uh, got sick and had to sent to a hospital? Est-ce que l'un d'entre eux est jamais tombé malade? Ou y a-t-il eu un so, moment yes, où l'un d'entre eux serait tombé malade et sick. aurait dû être envoyé à l'hôpital? And Réponse, if they, oui. they were sick, then Certains I would not allow them malades. to go out and tend the cows. Then I would send them to their de parents, and the parents would uh, take them to a nearby hospital because we were not far from uh, the hospital in Ampunerie. Question. How did you notify Question. the respective uh, parents of the sick uh, children? Informiez-vous les parents respectifs du fait que and leurs so enfants étaient malades. And I went malades. to tell their mothers, for example, and then I uh, told the parents mère, or the mothers to, to come and fetch the children and take them to the hospital. Et de à and sometimes they did not actually take the children to the hospital. Pas they à only do uh, coining, and then the children became better. Question. Where did you inform the parents at the work site or at their houses? Et l'enfant serait Answer. 
I went to uh, notify the parents at their houses, and their houses were just uh, adjacent to one another. And the school itself was not far from their houses, it was only about uh, 200 meters away. Uh, there was no French and translation of your response to my uh, last question, and let me uh, put it again to you. When the children were sick, you notified the parents, and my question to you were, where did you uh, notify them? And you replied that you went to their houses because the houses were not far from the school. And let me uh, continue in relation to the food regime. Earlier, you stated about the, the food ration for the children. And can you further tell the court the actual food ration for the children? Answer. Uh, their food ration was uh, as same as the, the ration les for the adults. Les mêmes pour les enfants que pour les adultes. Question. Question. The, in response to the previous defense uh, council, uh, you stated that uh, children could uh, bring uh, rice uh, to, to their houses and ate the rice there. And you said place. that there were also uh, fish Vous avez dit y avait du that the children could eat. And can you tell the court a little bit further how did the children go back to their houses? Did they go there and remain, remain stay there or they returned to sleep at the school? Answer. Réponse. They, in fact, uh, brought uh, the food from the, kit, from the dining hall to the school or the building and consumed it there. They did not take the food home. Question. As for those children who uh, did not obey the discipline, for example, they stole uh, coconut, and you stated that uh, they were not uh, punished, they were only uh, reprimanded, not to uh, steal again. Who actually uh, reprimanded them? Answer. It was the uh, unit chief who imposed the, the sanction, who reprimanded the, the children. I myself did not involve in this uh, process. And uh, despite uh, being reprimanded, uh, sometimes the children still uh, stole, for example, uh, for example a coconut because they were young. De voler, par exemple, des noix de coco, Question. Parce As étaient for you jeunes. yourself, did you ever impose Question. any sanction or reprimand uh, any of the children? Imposé des sanctions aux enfants ou les avez-vous réprimandés? Uh, yes, Réponse. I did. Uh, Sometimes oui, the children uh, fought one another and parfois, I uh, scolded them, not uh, and reprimanded them not to do it again. Je les grondais et je leur disais de ne plus recommencer. And then they uh, listened to me. Et ils m'écoutaient. So I advise them not to engage in uh, fighting or arguing with one another. Je leur disais de ne pas se disputer and ou de later ne pas on, se they, they uh, did not do it again. Et puis ils ont arrêté de le faire par la suite. Question. Question. If the uh, unit chief, uh, rather, how did the unit chief uh, was aware of the uh, children engaging in this uh, violation of the disciplines? Savait qu'un enfant avait enfreint les règles de la discipline en vigueur. Uh, for example, Réponse. if the children uh, stole 
Si les enfants, par uh, exemple, fruit uh, or uh, coconut, fruits, then they, volaient, in de coco. fact, the women uh, in the women's unit informed that their unit Alors, chief, and that's how the unit chief uh, was aware of the incident. Question. My next question, question is in relation to the cooperative. Parler à présent des coopératives. In your uh, written record of interview, E3 slash 5515, in uh, question answer 15, e you stated that the uh, Samarang commune comprises Vous three cooperatives. And you also uh, mentioned the three uh, units, namely unit 1, 2, and 3. Can you enlighten the court whether the, 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 the distinction between the cooperative and the unit? La les coopératives et les unités. Answer. Réponse. No, a cooperative was no. not the same as a unit. Ce pas la même chose. The unit pas la même chose uh, was uh, on unité. mobile, went in through a, a, a village or other places in uh, their work, for example, in digging canal, at the uh, dining hall, although uh, we used the word uh, unit, it was a different kind of uh, unit. And uh, in terms of uh, having a meal, the concentration unit would uh, consume uh, a wood dined within their group, and other units would also eat within their own respective uh, groups or units. Question. My question is about the cooperative, not about the uh, dining hall. In your question answer 12, and let me uh, read it to you, uh, quote, in 1976, they divided people to live in the cooperatives. In the Samrang commune, there were three cooperatives. The division of the cooperatives referred to uh, type 1 people called Unit 1, who were best people, that is, all full rights people, and it was located in Ang Bonneri. Typed to people, or Unit 2, were also best people, candidate people, but they had relatives who were linked or had tendencies with enemies. It was located in Pen Mir village. As for type 3 people or unit 3, they were people evacuated from Phnom Penh. They were also called 17 other people. And in the uh, bracket, uh, depositors. And it was located in Tassaum village. I'd like you to explain to the court the term cooperatives that you use and the uh, three kinds of uh, units that you refer to in uh, this uh, statement. Que vous expliquiez davantage en quoi consistaient les trois unités auxquelles vous faites référence dans cette déclaration. Answer. The dining Réponse. hall refers to one cooperative, or vice versa, it means one cooperative had one dining hall. Chaque cooperative avait son propre réfectoire. And there was a cooperative uh, called Unit 1 there, and then there was a uh, Unit 2 at uh, Pan Mi. And there was another dining hall for another cooperative for Unit 3. So uh, in, uh, in my understanding, the uh, dining hall and the cooperative uh, term is exchangeable. Question. What about the term uh, unit that you uh, use? You, you use the word uh, unit 1, unit 2, and unit 3 respectively. Does the word unit also refer or reflect the dining hall? Answer. 
as for the uh, uh, unit, the the unit also refers to a part of the uh, dining hall. For example, we can say we can also say uh, uh, dining hall for uh, unit uh, one, a dining hall for unit uh, two, uh, etc. Uh, President, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, you used the word uh, cousin, cousin. If you mean uh, dining hall, please uh, say the, uh, use the Khmer word, uh, don't use the word cousin uh, or cuisine in, in English. When you use the word cou cousin in Khmer, you refer to the dining hall or, or, or do you know the word uh, dining hall in Khmer, Rumbai? Connaissez-vous le terme Rumbai, réfectoire en Khmer? Witness, of course, I know the word uh, "rung bai," but uh, during the time it refer they use the word "kasin bai" or in English uh, is a dining hall. Ce qui veut dire réfectoire en anglais. So usually the dining, dining hall during the Khmer Rouge uh, was Donc, known as a kasin or kasin bai or cooperative. So the word cooperative, uh, dining Kassin, hall, and uh, kasin bai refer to uh, one same thing. La même chose. Council, thank you. La défense, je vous remercie. In order to uh, clarify uh, this issue further, the chief of the cooperative or uh, the chief of the uh, casino bar or the chief of a uh, dining hall refer to the same individual? Et donc la même personne. Answer. The réponse. For example, if there were uh, five uh, people committee for the dining hall, it, si it, it refers to the same thing because usually people responsible for a uh, dining hall comprise of uh, five uh, individuals, including the cook. Question: When you refer Question. to the uh, chief of the uh, casino bar or dining Lorsque hall, do you only refer to the uh, committee for uh, that section, or do you also include the chef? Au chef du comité de cette section, ou est-ce que vous incluez également le chef? Answer: At the uh, place that I were. Uh, they use both terms, uh, casino bar or dining hall, or they also refer to it as a cooperative. And as I said, uh, these three terms refer to the same thing. Council, yes, I partly understand uh, your uh, response. But when you talk about the committee, the five member committee, I I am lost. La As for the cooperative and the uh, dining hall, was the committee uh, to oversee the dining hall or the cooperative one and the same, or were they different uh, groups? Answer. In for one dining la hall, there would be a chief, a deputy chief, and a member, pour and le then there are the two uh, general members, and then there would be five others Ensuite, uh, responsible for collecting uh, waiter table, and then five more members for uh, uh, go uh, fishing or uh, gathering uh, food supply for the uh, dining hall. De la cueillette uh, ou de tout ce qui était nécessaire pour l'approvisionnement en nourriture dans le réfectoire. Question. Question. Also in uh, your uh, written record of uh, uh, interview, Dans question answer 15, 
question. You specify about the various uh, sub units, namely uh, special unit, plowing unit, transport, uh, transporting unit, and uh, female unit, etc. As for these uh, sub units, were they form to deal with a, speci a specific task or for each main unit, there were always sub-units. And whether, for example, in, in one plowing unit, there were also sub-plowing uh, units within the plowing unit. Une dans la Answer. De la base. In each cooperative, there uh, were more than uh, one uh, uh, unit. Dans there were up to five to six uh, uh, units. For example, unité. one plowing unit would be sent to a plow field uh, in one location, un while another plowing unit was sent to plow another uh, field in another location. Ailleurs. Question. Question. For each sub-unit that you uh, just uh, described, Pour chacune des sous -unités que vous venez de décrire, was there a chief for each sub-unit? Or how those uh, sub-units were organized and coordinated? Answer. As for the uh, subunits, there were also a committee for each subunit respectively, and they either comprise of a chief, deputy, and a member. However, the chief or the deputy also engage in the same work as members of that uh, unit. For example, for a plowing unit, the uh, unit chief also heads to plow the field. However, for the uh, main unit, the unit chief did not involve in physical work. They monitored uh, the activities of the members and the sub-unit uh, chiefs and to make sure that the work full time was uh, completed by the set time. For example, they had to complete a set quota uh, in transplanting rice seedlings from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. in the morning. Question. Also in the uh, same document. Question. Et dans le même document. In question answer 22. À la réponse 22. You uh, stated about the uh, meals. Vous parlez plutôt des repas. This morning, you were asked by the prosecutors matin, about the ins insufficient food, and that is consistent with your response, uh, with your answer Donc 22 in that document. And Mr. President, uh, I'll seek your leave. Avec votre permission, Monsieur le Président. To include uh, the audio transcript. Document D, two, three, two. Le document D, 232, transcription audio. Slash 62 uh, R. Document D 232 bar 62 R. 
So let me repeat the uh, audio transcript that is D uh, through 3 through slash 6 through R. At the time audio, marker 01, 05, 41. And it continued through 01. 0-6-0-1-0-6-5-7-57. In order to make it clear on this issue, I'd like to ask you, Mr. Witness, Afin que tout soit clair, in relation to the food ration, while you were in uh, unit two, and uh, later on, you uh, were responsible for the children in the children unit. Can you tell the court the, the difference, if any, of the food ration you received? While I was in uh, Unit 2, Quand I was given gruel. Uh, but uh, then when I uh, was transferred, Ensuite, then I was given uh, cooked rice. Et là, reçu du riz cuit. Question. Question. You also stated before this court about the soup uh, with uh, fresh fish Vous and the beef that was given to you uh, every tenth day. Et de bœuf qui Can you tell the court uh, were you given this kind of food that you described while you were with the children unit? Cette nourriture, la receviez-vous à l'époque où vous and, uh, travaillez pour l'unité des enfants? Yes, uh, that food Réponse. was uh, given oui. uh, to me while I was uh, with the children unit uh, when I was actually transferred to the southern part. Enfants. And every time they we were given either a, a piece of uh, beef or soit un morceau pork. De bœuf, soit un morceau de porc. Question. Question. Can you tell the court whether the children received the same food ration as you did? Les enfants recevaient-ils la même ration Answer. que vous? The children Réponse. received the same food ration as uh, adults. Les enfants recevaient la There même was ration no que lack les adultes. of food for the children. Mm -hmm. And Mr. President, thank you. Les I don't have any further questions for this witness. And thank you, Mr. Défense, witness. Merci. J'en ai terminé. Merci, Monsieur le témoin. Ah. President. Le président. Uh, Mr. Pnoyar, the Chamber Monsieur is grateful for your valuable time to testify as a witness during these one-day proceedings. Your testimony will contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case. And your testimony has now come to a, a conclusion and you may be excused from the courtroom and return to wherever you wish to. And we wish you a safe journey. Court officer, in collaboration with the staff from the WISU section, please make the necessary arrangement to transport Mr. Through his place of residence, he may not be excused. Le témoin peut à présent quitter le prétoire. Hey, we got why enjoying that. And that say, but to up, eh? That that they were wrong. He. The chairman would like now to uh, call the reserve witness that is through TCW 807 into the courtroom. La chambre va à présent demander que soit amené dans le prétoire le témoin de réserve de TCW 807.
Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. What is your name? Bon après-midi, Monsieur le Témoin. Comment vous appelez-vous? Answer, Mr. President. My name is Réponse. Sao Hien. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Je m'appelle Sao Hien. Thank you, Mr. Sao Hien. Question, merci, Could you Monsieur tell the court when Hien. you were born? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Answer. Réponse. I was born Je in 1947. President, thank you. Question. Where was your uh, birthplace? Où êtes-vous né? Answer. Réponse. I was born at uh, Trom Trom Trompeng Rumpiak village, Tramkak commune, Tramkak district, Takao province. Commune de Tram Question. Kok, what is your de current address? Province de Takao. Question. Où résidez-vous actuellement? Answer. Réponse. I I am living in Trom Trompeng Rumpiak. Village, Tramka Commune, Tramka District, Takao Province. Question, what is your occupation? Question, quel est votre métier? Answer, Réponse. I am a rice farmer. Je cultive du riz. Question, could you tell the court the, your father's and mother's names? Question, comment s'appellent vos parents? Answer, my Réponse. father's name is Saulon and my mother's name is Chuan Kien. Mon père President, Saolong. thank you. And what is your wife's Chun name? Kim. And how many children do Question. you have? Comment s'appelle votre épouse et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. My wife's name Ma is Kol Kamsein. I have Kom eight Seng. children. J'ai huit enfants. President, thank you, Mr. Sao Hien. Could you inform the chamber that during the Democratic Campuchia? That is from 17 April 1975 to, 9, to the 6th January 1979. Where were you and what did you do? I lived in Trampeang Rumpia village, Tramkak commune, Tramkak district, Takao province. I was a rice farmer. President, thank you, Mr. Sao Hien. According to the report of uh, the Gravier, to the, your best Gref, knowledge, à votre you do not have any parents, uh, ancestor or descendants uh, who are admitted to be civil parties in this case. Is that true? Answer, yes, that is exact? true. Réponse, oui. Question. Before Question. you enter the courtroom, Avant have you already taken an oath before the iron statue to the east of the courtroom already? La statue à la barre de fer qui se trouve à Answer. Yes, de la I salle have already taken an oath. Réponse. Oui. President. Now, the Le Chamber President. would like to inform you of La your Chambre rights and obligation as a witness before the Chamber. Mr. Sao Hien, as a witness before the Chamber, you may refuse Monsieur to respond to any question Sao that would incriminate you yourself, or you may refuse to make any statement which uh, si vos réponses, would incriminate vos you yourself. Un risque de poursuite. Uh, this means that uh, you may refuse to make uh, such statement or to answer in case that it would lead to prosecution against you. As a witness, vous êtes, uh, before this chamber, you have to respond to any question put by the parties general, and by the bench, unless uh, the juges. questions uh, relate to the si case that it would uh, incriminate you yourself. Vous. As I have already informed you about the rights, uh, perhaps, and I hope uh, you are fully informed of this. J'espère que vous en avez été du moins informé. And as a witness, uh, you have to témoin, respond to the question, and you have to answer in, relate to, in relation to your experience. You have heard, you have seen, and you have experienced. Mr. Sao Hien, 
have you ever given an interview Monsieur Sahin, to an investigator of the OCIJ? And if uh, you have uh, given interviews, so how many times si did you uh, give that interview? And uh, where did it take Et place? Answer, I uh, gave an interview once uh, in Tramcock commune. Dans la commune de Tramcock. Question, when was that? Question. When did it take Quand place? Answer, I Je forgot pense. it. J'ai oublié. President, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Witness. Uh, before you are here, have you already reviewed or read the statement you gave uh, to the investigator in uh, Tramcock commune already? De votre audition? tel qu'établi après que vous avez été entendu par les enquêteurs dans la commune Answer, de yes, I have reviewed it. Réponse, oui. President, thank you very much. Uh, to Merci your best beaucoup. knowledge, could you tell à the court that uh, the statement you have just read reflects ce procès verbal the statement you gave uh, to the investigator in commune district commune, uh, in the uh, Tramcock commune ce que vous avez dit aux enquêteurs answer Réponse. yes uh, it reflects uh, oui. my statement During uh, the questioning of this witness, Question. the chamber will uh, first give the floor to the co-prosecutors before other parties. Aura la you en may now proceed, uh, co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon to Mr. President and your honors. Good afternoon to you also, Mr. Sauhin. Today I'm going to be asking you a number of questions about events that happened quite a long time ago. And of course you should answer these questions as well as you're able. But if there's something you don't remember, please tell the court that you don't remember and don't try to guess. Also, if you find any of my questions confusing or unclear, please let me know, and I will ask the question in a different way. And the last thing I would ask is that in each of my questions, I will have a very specific focus. So it, I would ask you to focus on the question that I ask and try to answer it as precisely as possible. And to orient you generally, I will start by asking you just a few questions about the period before 1975 and then a number of more detailed questions about the period from 1975 to 1979. So I'd like to start in 1970 and ask you about the arrival of the Khmer Rouge in your area. In your statement to the OCIJ, which is E3 slash 5518, at answers 4 through 6, you said that in 1970, the Khmer Rouge came out of the forest to organize the villages and sub-district and create village and some sub-district militias to govern. So focusing first on the militias, can you tell the court how these militias were set up and what their responsibilities were? Answer. Militia uh, was created in the 1970s or 1971 to control and supervise the commune and villages. De supervisés, de contrôler les communes et les villages. And what about organizations and sub-districts? Can you tell us how the Khmer Rouge organized the villages and the sub-districts?
Maghaham. Answer. Réponse. Khmer Rouge created uh, commune, Les Khmer Rouge created villages and communes. Uh, first, they created villages. Ils ont commencé par les villages. And can you can you tell us in a bit more detail Question. what you mean Pouvez when you say they created villages and communes? Réponse. Answer. First, uh, Khmer Rouge came to select uh, the village chiefs, uh, the deputies and members of uh, de village, the community, and after that, uh, they organized groups, ils ont organisé the uh, solidar solidarity, solidar de solidarité. solidarity group. Question. What these solidarity groups were quoi and how they were different from communes. En quoi se distinguait-il des communes? Answer. Villages uh, were Réponse. different from communes. At the outset, uh, first, uh, uh, Khmer Rouge organized uh, villages, and after that, uh, they organized communes. And I do not know the, where they organized uh, those villages and communes. I only knew that uh, they first organized villages uh, before they go. They went to organize uh, communes. In answer 14 Question. of your interview, you said the following, quote, the village chairman set out the plans to create solidarity groups from the people right there in the village. The plans had originated from Ankar, end quote. What did you mean when you said that the plans had originated from Ankar? And what did you understand Ankar to be? Quand vous dites que le plan émanait de l'Ankar, que vouliez-vous dire? Et selon vous, que signifiait l'Ankar? Answer: The plan came from Ankar. Actually, I do not know where Ankar was. I only heard that people refer to Ankar. Le, Ankar. Le. Parler de l'Ankar d'en haut. Ankar. Le. Did anyone ever explain to you what Ankar was? Des gens vous ont-ils jamais expliqué ce qu'était l'Ankar? Answer: Réponse. No one explained it to me. Non, jamais. In answer 16 of your OCIJ interview, you said that after the Khmer Rouge arrived in your area. There were no schools, there were no teachers, there were no hospitals, no doctors, nothing. Can you describe for us how these things disappeared, how the schools, hospitals, and doctors disappeared? Answer. There were no hospitals, there were no schools, since uh, teachers and doctors were all gone. Les enseignants et les médecins étaient tous partis. In answer 18 of your OCIJ interview, you talk about people who were arrested and told they were being sent away to study. And you said that these were people who were accused of being wealthy or having lots of paddy land or large houses. Were you told why these wealthy people needed to be sent away to study? Answer. The wealthy people, uh, their property would be uh, deprived of and their ownership uh, would be demolished, eliminated. 
démoli. Éliminé. And did anyone ever explain to you the reason Question. that that was happening? Jamais expliqué pourquoi? Answer. Réponse. No. I got no explanation. Je n'ai reçu aucune explication à ce sujet. Okay, I would now like to move to focus on the period from 1975 to 1979, and specifically the period after Phnom Penh fell. At answer 20 of your OCIJ interview, you describe people evacuated from the cities arriving in your area. Can you tell the court how many of these people you saw arriving in Tramkak district? Answer yes, réponse. I could uh, tell the court. Je puis le faire. When uh, people were evacuated from uh, Phnom Penh, I observed that uh, some people they pushed the cars, and I could see uh, cars, and uh, people were walking with only a uh, little belonging. Voitures. Some did not have relatives in the place where I uh, was, and uh, they built uh, a small makeshift uh, uh, hall to stay. Are you able to estimate how many of these people you personally saw arriving? Answer, I could not tell you how many Je of them ne puis pas vous arriving. Dire ils Question. In answer 34 of your OCIJ statement, you discussed the way people were divided up into different categories. La and this is what you said, quote, Je vais citer. The people were divided as follows. Les gens the full rights people, comme suit. the les candidates, droit, and the depositees. Ankar made these distinctions. Avait établi ces distinctions. The full rights people were the base les area people who had good biographies and who had children and grandchildren in the struggle. Ils des et des enfants the candidate dans la people were also les base area people, aussi des gens but de they had brothers or sisters or relatives with enemy meaning Lan Nol and Sihanouk, inclinations. The depositees were the 17 April people who had been evacuated from the cities, end quote. Can you tell the court what category you were placed in and why? Dans quelle catégorie avez-vous été placé et pourquoi? Answer. Réponse. I, I was in the candidate Je faisais group partie du groupe category des candidats. Because I uh, had a relative uh, working effet, with Lonol period. Des membres de ma famille avaient travaillé pour Lonol. And one of the things you said Question. in the answer I just read was réponse, Ankar made these distinctions. How did you know that it was Ankar that was making the distinctions between these three categories? President, please on, Mr. Witness, uh, you have to wait uh, for the microphone operation. Micro soit Answer. Réponse. I heard uh, full rights uh, people and uh, unit chief uh, mention about this. J'ai entendu des chefs uh, that, uh, et des pleins there were uh, candidates group, and there were depositors group, and there were full rights people. Et un groupe des pleins droits. Do you remember the Question. name of the unit chief or unit Comment chiefs who explained this to you? Le ou les chefs d'unité qui vous l'ont expliqué, vous en souvenez-vous? Answer. Réponse. Yes, I uh, recall. Je m'en souviens. Chanier. Chanier. Ike. Ike.
And do you remember anyone else who was explaining to you the differences among these three categories of people? D'autres gens vous ont-ils expliqué la différence entre ces trois catégories? Vous en souvenez-vous? Answer. Réponse. I forgot uh, those people names. J'ai oublié le nom de ces gens. Can you tell us Question. whether the treatment of people in these three groups was different? Les in other words, de ces trois groupes, were members of one group treated better différente? or worse Certains than members of other groups? Mieux ou moins bien traités que les membres des autres groupes? By Answer. Réponse. The three categories. The uh, full rights uh, people enjoy uh, a better condition les than the others. Bénéficier de meilleures conditions que les autres. And can you give us a little bit more detail about the conditions you're speaking of? Are you talking about food? Are you talking about shelter? Are you talking about working hours? In what way specifically was the treatment of the full rights people better? Answer. Réponse. As for the conditions, actually, I could not uh, catch up uh, your, with your Je question. Je n'ai pas bien saisi la question. Pour question? Répéter? President. Le président. Uh, Deputy International Court Prosecutor, le Prosecutor, you should uh, put your question short. Uh, otherwise, uh, the witness uh, has courtes. no ability to respond to your question. Pour que le témoin puisse y répondre. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Salhian, could you tell us how the food that the full rights people received compared to the food received by other groups? La nourriture donnée au plein droit par rapport à celle des autres? Answer. As for food creation, actually, we were in the same cooperative, so we received the same food ration. Nous recevions les mêmes rations alimentaires. And what about working hours or working conditions? How did the working hours and working conditions of full rights people compare to other groups? Answer. In terms of uh, working conditions, uh, uh, usually I observe that uh, full rights uh, people were working as a chief of group, chief of units. So they supervise us. I'd now like to turn to the issue of biographies of the new people arriving from the cities. In answer 22 of your interview, you were asked this question, quote, immediately when those people arrived, did they make biographies or were their biographies screened, end quote. And this was your answer. You said, quote, yes, they did that. They went around researching to discover who had been teachers or soldiers or workers. Those discovered to have been soldiers or teachers were arrested and taken away and never reappeared, unquote. Can you tell us who you were referring to when you said they went around researching to discover who had been teachers or soldiers? Answer, I could witness this incident because of one of 
my elder brother or elder sister when he arrived home the uh, village uh, chief or the unit or the group chief uh, they came around and searched to discover uh, who we were and after that uh, they went back do you remember the name of this village chief or group chief who was doing this research answer yes can you tell us uh, what the name was Question, pourriez-vous nous dire quel était son nom? President, please hold on, Mr. Witness. Uh, please wait for the microphone. Monsieur le témoin, veuillez attendre que le microphone soit allumé avant de répondre. Answer, Ta Aik. And Janiel. In your next answer, answer 23, you talk about the arrest and disappearance of your brother Lun Hom, who was a soldier. Can you tell us when your brother was arrested? Un ancien soldat, Lun Hom. Pourriez-vous nous dire quand il a été arrêté? Bam. Answer, yes. After the arrival of my older brother, Lun Hom, the village chief Lorsque came to do the research at my house for three or four days, and after that, uh, the militiamen came to take my uh, brother away. Do you... Do you remember the names of any of the militiamen who came to take your brother? He was Pine. His name was Pine, and he was the uh, group. Chief and Ike is the name of another person. Ike was also the group chief, and Talonia was the group chief. President, thank you, Mr. Deputy International Co-Prosecutor. It is now convenient time for the adjournment. The hearing uh, will resume tomorrow, starting from 9 a.m. Tomorrow, the chamber will hear the testimony of a witness, Sao Hien. Please be informed and please be present in the courtroom. Thank you, Mr. Sao Hien. The hearing of your testimony as a witness does not conclude yet. The chamber is inviting you to be here once again tomorrow, starting from 9 a.m. And now you may be excused to your residence or the place where you are staying. Court officer, you are instructed to go coordinate with the West Sioux to send the witness to his uh, place and have him return in the courtroom tomorrow before 9 a.m. Security personnel, you are instructed to bring the two accused, uh, Mr. Kisapon and Nunjia, to the detention facility and have them return in the courtroom before 9 a.m. tomorrow. The court is now adjourned.